It would always surprise me when I'd hear him criticize Jocko. You know, Jocko, he sounds like a trombone sometimes. You know, Teen Town, this, this is not really a weather report song. And Jocko hated that. He didn't want to hang around for any of that, so he would disappear. Jocko respected his jazz elders, and yet he wasn't above ruffling their feathers. In these photos, you can see Wayne in the background. He has a drink and a cigarette, and he's just watching. Wayne never said anything. Joe was doing all the talking. Jock used to say, me and Frank Sinatra, we're Sagittarians. I'm a Sag, he's a Sag. <laughs> he met my mother, and then he said, you're a Sag, my mother said, I'm a Sag too. And she always talked about courage and guts to get through the damn day and everything. And uh, she would say something about Jocko, that child, she called him that child. That child, I said, said, you know, that child, he knows what he, that child knows what he's talking about. <laughs> that, he said, he's mighty wild though, isn't he? <laughs> His identity in music and theater was coming out. That's what Jocko had, a history, not just a library, but a history of being open and not shutting out many kinds of music, the, the bass almost became incidental.